Hey guys, thank you for joining me for my third Dholak lesson. This video will focus on Tirikita. I will do my best to make the content of this video useful to both beginners and experienced players. Before getting into Tirikita, I'll do a quick recap of the basic sounds. The first basic sound is Ta, played on the outer part of the skin. Next is thin, played in the inner part. Na is a sharper version of ta, played at a sweet spot at the edge of the skin. That covers all of the open treble sounds. Titi is a flat sound played at the center of the skin. It can be played in two ways as shown. Moving down to the bass, any open sound is referred to as ge. A flat sound on the bass is called ka. To develop the technique on these basic sounds, please refer to my previous videos. Now let's get into tirikita. Tirikita is a flat combination played with both hands. Initiate the movement with your middle finger. Keep your wrist nice and loose throughout the movement. Incorporate your forearm and allow the momentum to flow through to your fingertip. Once you understand the basic movement, practice with this basic exercise to improve your coordination. When you are confident with your coordination, practice this kaida to develop your technique further. This kaida will be played in Tintal, which is a 16 beat cycle. Kaidas are generally used to develop technique and can also be used in solo pieces. Feel free to take screenshots or notes to refer back to later. This is how it sounds. Practicing kaidas are great for developing your sense of rhythm and are the fastest way from my experience to learn a specific technique. It helps to break it down into smaller pieces before playing the whole thing. Ta, ta, di, de, gitte, just like the exercise earlier. Followed by da, ta, din. Next is the Kali, which refers to the flat portion of the cycle. Ta, ta, ti, de, gitte. Ta, ta, ti, de, gitte. Ta, ta, ti, na. Once you can play all the basic parts, combine them all to play the full thing. When practicing this skyther, use a metronome or a lira. The app on display, Lira Studios, has a 48 hour free trial and is available in Android and iOS platforms. Start at a speed of 60 to 80 beats per minute and work your way up to 120 beats per minute as you improve. When you increase speed during practice, make sure you are able to maintain the sound level and the clarity. This will guarantee that your technique is improving when you practice. After you have mastered the basic gaida, move on to this variation. Practicing this variation will help you to improve your delicate speed. When practicing this one, start at a lower speed of 40 to 60 beats per minute. This is how it will sound.
This variation is very similar to the main gaida. Let's break it down. Ta ta ti re kite, just like the exercise but repeated three times. Followed by ta ta tin na. Now moving into the kali. Ta ta ti re kite, two times. Then back to ta ta ti re kite, followed by ta ta din na. This variation contains all the same blocks as the main gaida, but is played at a higher speed to fit more beats into the cycle while still being played in a Kali Bhadi structure. When practicing this variation, start at a lower speed around 40 to 60 beats per minute. This is how it sounds at 120 beats per minute. Moving on to the second variation. This variation will expose you to slightly different hand movements and timings with Terikita. If you are confident with the first variation, this will not be too difficult to pick up. This is how it sounds. Try your best to accent the bass as shown in the video. When practicing this variation, remember to include the small pause at the end of the first and third line. Practice at a low speed of 60 to 80 beats per minute and move up gradually as your technique improves. This is how it sounds at 120 beats per minute. Moving on to the final variation of this guy though. This variation will teach you a basic Thirikita roll. This variation is quite difficult, but mastering the previous variations will help you to pick this one up more easily. This is how it sounds. This roll can be played at extremely high speeds. For this variation, it's very important to keep your wrist nice and loose so you can achieve higher speeds. This is what the motion looks like. Remember to allow the momentum to flow through your forearm to your fingertips. When you are practicing, push yourself to build up the speed. This is how it sounds at 120 beats per minute. When practicing Thirikita, remember to maintain clarity as you push the speed higher. This is how it sounds at 180 beats per minute.
Every tintal kaida comes paired with a tihai. A tihai is a rhythmic composition that is repeated three times. Kaidas come paired with tihais that match the theme of the kaida and further assist in the development of the technique. The timing can be quite difficult. Try to follow me whilst you're learning and try by yourself on a lira once you become more confident. Tintal kaidas occupy one and a half cycles. So to finish on the sum, you need to start at the middle of the cycle as shown in this image. To reach the middle of the cycle, you can wait for the ninth beat on the lira or play half a cycle of basic tintal. This is how it sounds. Alternatively, you can play from the beginning of the cycle and finish on the ninth beat like this. Once you have mastered the basic Tirikita Kaida, move on to this one. This will expose you to different movements surrounding Tirikita and is a little bit more complicated. Practicing this Kaida will allow you to become a more versatile player and will help to improve your Tirikita technique further. This is how it sounds. Since this guy is a little bit more complicated, break it down into smaller pieces before putting it all together. Remember to do your best to accent the bass as shown in the video. The movements involved in the skyda and the timing will be hard to coordinate. Practice at a low speed around 40 to 60 beats per minute and build it up slowly. This is how it sounds at 120 beats per minute. Once you have mastered the kaida, move on to this variation. This variation will help to improve your bass technique surrounding tirikita. Please remember to take screenshots or notes to refer back to later. This is how it sounds. Do your best to try to accent the bass as shown in the video. Dhagen na tirikita repeated three times. Followed by Tati Dhage Dina Keno. Now in the Kali, Nakena Tirikita, Nakena, Nakena Tirikita, 
The hardest part is to maintain the bass technique. Practice it slowly and build it up over time. This is how it sounds at 120 beats per minute. Once you have mastered the kaida and the variation, have a go at this tihai. Practicing this tihai will help you to loosen up your wrist and achieve higher speeds for both titi and tirikita. Remember that to finish on the sum, you have to start at the middle of the cycle. I'll show you the bass technique a little bit slower. Strike the skin and slide down leaving a small pause in between. Practice it just like you would play it in the tihai. This tihai will be quite difficult to learn. Remember that there is a small pause in between each repetition, meaning that the sum will occur after a pause. Keep practicing and proceed to the next lesson when you are ready.